This is Arabella, a 157-foot tri-masted schooner. I'm Patrick Hopkins with Dennison Yachting. I'm standing here on the massive bow of Arabella. Her 20 cabin, 22 head layout is Coast Guard certified for an impressive 40 guests overnight while also accommodating nine crew. As the captain aboard will tell you, sailing is a big word. It encompasses a lot, but sailing is also about simplicity. Surprisingly, this 157 foot schooner can be sailed by two skilled sailors. My goal at the end of this video is to show you what guests from all over the world have seen, that Arabella is the best seat in New York. Welcome aboard. All the way forward on the bowsprit, you have the outer and inner jib. Both are roller furling and operated by two hydraulic winches. These are the only two sails on the boat that are not self-tacking. Between the bow seating to port and starboard is your ground tackle. There are two anchors with 400 feet of chain, each with their own hydraulic windlass. At the foot of the Ford Fisherman, we pass a crew egress. Moving aft, we have the most popular space aboard while underway, the forward cell lounge. This elevated vantage point is large enough for the whole family to enjoy the day's sail. Up here, it's easy to lose track of time. Making our way aft on the side deck, we see 100 foot lines of teak decking. Her stainless cleats with chafe guards lead the eye up past the varnished mahogany cap rails into the stainless stanchions. This midship boarding gate is opposite the entrance to the salon, which we'll come back to shortly. This brings us to the aft deck. Covered by a canvas dodger, this oversized U-shaped settee is a primary gathering place on board. These brand new cushions are custom made by Hinkley. Further aft, on the fantail, is something rarely seen on a sailing vessel, a full-size jacuzzi. The jacuzzi is filled by the 4,000 gallon water tanks. Altogether, the aft deck easily accommodates 60 guests. A space this big and a view this breathtaking are an entertainer's dream. Stepping up from here is the aft nav station. Fully equipped with Raymarine electronics and a Simrad autopilot, the nav station is close enough to the aft deck action for the guests to join in. Forward to starboard is the sun deck. This all-purpose space works perfectly as a dance floor or a sunny area to lay out and relax. Opposite to starboard is your boat deck. This is where the crew has easy access to the secondary tender and water toys. The larger tender, Scout, can be seen here in tow. Under sail, Arabella cruises comfortably at just over six knots. Under power, the cruising speed is six knots with a max cruising speed of 11 knots. She is powered by a single 500 horsepower CAT 3176C and carries a total of 4,000 gallons of fuel. She has two Northern Lights generators, one 40kW and the second an 85kW. Jumping inside, we start the interior portion of today's walkthrough in the salon. I'm standing here on the main deck in the salon. The entryways are to port and starboard with boarding gates just beyond. In her current configuration, she is set to accommodate 36. You can add two tables centerline, comfortably seating up to 50. Chesterfield ultra leather seating spans the length of the salon on both sides. Seen here are oval mahogany tables. A total of 10 windows let in the perfect amount of sunlight and provides guests with a great view of the open water. Underway, the breeze flows through the entry doors and fills the salon with fresh ocean air. In here, you can easily forget that you're inside. Just behind me on the starboard side, you will find a full service mahogany bar.
Moving forward to port, you'll find a buffet with industrial refrigeration and an ice maker. We're going to take a look in the galley, as the cornerstone of Arabella's purpose is servicing and volume. To port is the food prep area. Here, there is ample cold storage and the prep space needed to store the freshest produce and make great meals. As the onboard chef says, good food is all about the colors. Across from here, in front of the crew cabins, is the dishwashing station. Taking the walkway aft, we pass the captain's quarters and head down into the first series of guest accommodations. Down here are 12 of the 20 guest cabins found on board. Each cabin is equipped with an ensuite. With two owner's cabins and two over-under cabin layouts, the rest of these cabins feature full-size berths. For our purposes, we're going to enter the second set of cabins from the salon. Standing here in the lower companionway are the eight remaining cabins. Following the companionway all the way aft leads us to an egress. On the other side of this egress, we emerge onto the main deck. Obviously on a boat this size, there are hundreds of other things we could have covered. Because after all, like I said earlier, sailing is a big word. Bottom line, Arabella is truly one of a kind. She is eye-catching and jaw-dropping. Commanding, yet graceful. After all, it's in her name, Arabella. On behalf of myself, Patrick Hopkins, and Dennis and Yachting, I'd like to thank you for joining me aboard Arabella. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.